Tensions are still rising this morning in eastern Ukraine. That's where pro-Russian forces still control public buildings in several cities. More armed gangs are on the march in spite of a government warning. The United Nations Security Council had an emergency meeting last night to discuss the Ukraine rebellion. Holly Williams is in Donetsk, Ukraine, where rebels are waiting for the Ukrainian government's next move. The armed protesters stormed police stations and other official buildings in cities around eastern Ukraine and are now refusing to leave. After months of turmoil in the country, this is a tense and dangerous situation. Ukraine is deeply divided between those who support its Western-backed government and those who want closer ties with Moscow. And once again, those divisions have turned violent. At least one state security officer was killed in a gun battle on Sunday. Ukraine's government and the U.S. accuse Russia of orchestrating the unrest here. They fear a repeat of what happened in Crimea last month, when separatist demonstrations were a pretext for thousands of Russian soldiers in unmarked uniforms to seize government installations and then annex the region. In the provincial capital Donetsk, the protesters are flying Russian flags and told us they want Moscow to intervene. Svetlana Sergeyeva is a laid-off steel worker who said she hopes the situation can be resolved peacefully, but if not, she'd like eastern Ukraine to become part of Russia. Grisha Pozitko is a computer programmer who's been demonstrating here for a week. Do you want the Russian government to send soldiers to Donetsk? Yes, yes, I want. I am ask uh, Russian government. I think uh, uh, Putin. I ask Putin that uh, he send uh, the um, soldier to Donetsk. Russia denies any involvement in the clashes here, and instead accuses the West of interfering in Ukraine's politics. For CBS this morning, Holly Williams, Donetsk.